Hi everybody, my name is Laura. I'm a final year PhD student at Munster Technological University and Chagas Food Research Centre, Moore Park. So I'm here with Laura and I'm going to ask her a few questions about her session. It actually has a pretty interesting title, Mining the Gut Microbiome of Elite Athletes for Novel Probiotics. So can you tell me a little bit about how your session went today and what did you talk about? Yeah, sure. Um, so my PhD essentially looks at, you know, mining the gut microbiome for novel probiotics. Today I spoke about assessing the gut, micro, um, assessing the gut microbiome of um, athletes for antimicrobial potential. Um, you know, it is quite important for bacteria since to be able to kill other microorganisms, especially in the context of athletes where they tend to have a lot of gut issues. Um, so this is what we looked at and it was kind of different and cool in a way where um, you know we looked but at the in vitro side of things where we actually went into the lab and cultured things but we also did um, in silico analysis whereby we constructed metagenome assembled genomes and looked at the bacteria and potential mm -hmm. that way so we had a very broad overview of what's there so you said you you sampled uh, you you saw microbiome samples, right? So yeah. where did that come from? Yeah. Um, so everything we do um, in terms of athletes um, is in association with Sports Ireland. Um, so they can help us with um, getting our fecal samples, and these are all elite athletes um, of different sports types, and most of them went to the Olympics. So. Wow. Yeah, we had a really good lot. Okay, so a question about, you know, you you were sampling fecal samples and studying uh, what, um, what bacteria really, or were you looking at also what types of species were you looking at, or just a general... General overview. Um, yeah, so I suppose the best way to describe this at least have a very different microbiome, it's more diverse. So if you think about it, every microbe will have a different function. So the more different types of microbes you have, the more functions you can do. That comes down to digestion, immunity, your cognitive health. It has so much more um, to offer. So we were looking at everything. There are certain bacterial species that we know that are elevated in different sports types. So I do have a very cool study coming up now, which actually shows that different mm -hmm. sports types do have a um, very different abundance of different bacterial species which is cool in a way yeah and let's say you've identified some uh, yeah. some species then are you thinking of using those as probiotics right absolutely for them after yeah i we think it might be kind of a very novel way and personalized mm -hmm. probiotics i think this is where it's going my question is, you know, you, you collect fecal samples, but then aren't some bacteria that could act as probiotics get lost or die because of, you know, stomach, lactic acid and... Yeah, um, a very important function um, in a probiotic is a bile, um, they're resistant to bile acid, so they can come through your stomach and actually survive the gastrointestinal tract. I think the massive issue with collecting fecal samples is air. Um, you know, when you're an athlete and you're not a scientist, you don't realize, you know, you only have a few seconds to close your um, fecal samples in the tube because essentially the air will kill the very sensitive microbes and unfortunately we won't be able to culture them back. Mm -hmm. Where do you think this research can go on next? I would like to see it go into person personalized probiotics. I think it's where it's going. I think we still have so much more to find out. You know, we only know a few spe species, but the microbiome is so complex. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it's going to go, yep. but I, I really think there's more to the story than what we know now. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, you know, we've been here for at least half a day now yeah. at the... Um, MIFI conference. So how are you finding the conference? I guess this is your first in-person conference for quite a while, right? Yes. Um, so everything up till now was ev everything was done online. So it's quite nice to get out and walk around the city and the campus is lovely. You know, everybody's like coming up and asking questions and is wondering about at least. So it is very nice to see. Mm -hmm. And how has it been? Being a researcher at your university, you said you are at your final year. PhD year. How has it been? And you know, 
you're at the stage of writing up now. Um, I'm I'm still finishing up um, uh, two of my studies. And the one I spoke about today, we're at the end of um, preparing the manuscript for a publication. Then we have a tiny bit of more of lab work left and then I'm done. Um, yeah, it was challenging to say at least, but I, it, it was cool. You know, mm -hmm. we found so much and I think I do a lot of bioinformatics. So when you spend hours and hours looking at a code and then it works, it's, it's cool. Yeah. And to end this small interview, I just want to end it on a very positive note. You're, you know, you're an early career researcher, scientist. What piece of advice would you give to somebody attending such conferences? I think it's never as bad as it as you think it is in your head. You know, I think people tend to dramatize stuff in their head because we're so young and we're not used to stuff. But I think everybody's so open and kind of welcoming, and the atmosphere is so nice. I just think. Just, you know, get out and do it mm -hmm. and it's going to be worth it. That's a great piece of advice. Thank you so much for your time and, you know, enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.